Hey, welcome back to Type 5 Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at how to turbocharge this Power Wheels car with some 18 volt Ryobi batteries. So why don't we head inside and take a look at how this is done. So we're back here in the garage and I wanted to show you how easy it is to convert one of these Power Wheel cars to Ryobi batteries or any drill battery for that matter. Uh, you're going to need a battery converter. Now I picked up one of these on Amazon and you'll see there are actually two different styles that you can choose from. Uh, I did try out this style, but unfortunately, one of the contacts on the inside here was actually originally kind of bent and I didn't notice it until after I used it for a little bit and it melted through the side. So double check things like that uh, when you make your purchase. I would not recommend this style of adapter, but instead this simpler one comes with everything that you need to uh, convert this process, and I do recommend this one. So uh, to actually uh, make the connection here, you'll wanna unplug the original power plug from your Power Wheels battery, and use a pair of wire strippers to cut this. Um, leave a couple of inches in case you ever need to go back and reconnect it if you wanna use this battery. And after you cut those wires about a half inch back, twist the strands together so that they're one solid wire. And then make sure that you have this 30 amp fuse installed in line. It does come with multiple fuses in case one pops. I did find that uh, if you are uh, using uh, one of these adapters and you have two kids and the power wheels are going uphill, it does put a lot of strain on the motors and the battery and it can potentially blow one of these fuses. Uh, but one kid or even two light kids not going uphill is completely fine. So uh, in order to connect the wires together, you could use standard wire nuts, but I do like that it comes with this uh, included option for these connections. Uh, so you don't have to go out and buy anything separate. Uh, so. I'm gonna connect the black wires together. You just step the, the wire in and uh, push that gate closed. We're gonna do black to black and white to red. Okay. Make sure when you're doing those connections that there's no battery connected here because you don't want the wires to be live and then to touch them together and, and potentially shock yourself. So then you can snap the battery in and press and release the battery as well. And we can tuck all of this back into the bottom here and test it out. And both speeds work like normal and reverse. So let's take it outside and compare how the speed of the old battery was to the new battery and then we'll give you some final thoughts okay this is the original battery test ready set go 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 and done all right about 12 and a half seconds good job Ready for the fast test? On your mark, get set, go! Keep going, keep going! And stop! Good job! All right, Luke, so do you like going slow or fast? Fast. Well, let me see it. <laughs> And if you want your power wheels to go a little bit faster, feel free to use the link in the description below to check out one of these battery converters. So that's going to do it for today's video. Feel free to like and subscribe to the video. So hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.